Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to another video tutorial today. Today. Glad to have you here today. Uh, today's topic is fraction computation review, so get out your notebook, pencil, and let's just take some notes. All right, so th this should be a review, but I just want to see if you remember how to do this or not. So um, press pause, try to solve these four problems, and then we'll go over them, and then I'll give you four more problems to solve. But, but first, just press pause and try to solve these, okay? So welcome back. So let's just go through these problems. We have uh, a problem on addition, a problem on subtraction, division, and multiplication, all with fractions. Um, the process with addition and subtraction is very similar. The key is you want to find a common denominator, a common denominator. So when you're adding or subtracting fractions. So here, I can change one half to, I can change a half and thirds to sixes. And so two or one out of two is the same thing as a part of a whole as three out of six. So I can change this to three six. One third would equal two six. Okay, I just, all I did was I multiply by two and multiply by two, multiply by three and multiply by three. Okay, and that would give you an equivalent fraction. If you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same factor, it'll always give you an equivalent fraction. So I multiply by two or I multiply by three. So now, because I have a common unit, I can add my two sixes plus my three sixes, which gives you how many sixes? Five sixes, okay? So you, but the important thing is to have a common unit. If, if I was adding five feet plus one inch, nobody would say six because one's in feet and one's an inch, or one is in inches. So you have to have a common unit in order to add um, these numbers. So here I add, I change the half to sixes, I change the third to sixes, so three six plus two six, well that would give me five sixes, and then I'm gonna add my four ones and my one one. So my final would be five and five sixes. So if you got that, then that means good. You remember how to add fractions with unlike denominators. Same thing here, I'm gonna subtract, okay? So again, I'm gonna just change this to, this would be four and three sixes, this would be uh, one and two sixes, and we're just gonna subtract and we get three and one sixes, okay? So if you got both of these right, like I said, you remembered how to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. When multiplying fractions, the key thing to remember is, I showed you this video last year, um, but it said multiply across, multiply across. Or if you haven't seen that video, I'll show it to you tomorrow or so when we have the next lesson. But that's the important thing to remember is that you're always just multiplying the numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator when you're multiplying fractions. But before you can do that, you have to change everything to a fraction or improper fraction. So here, I need to change this four and one half to nine halves and change one and one third to four thirds. All I did was multiply my denominator by my whole number and added the numerator, likewise. Now you can multiply across, but always see if you can cancel because that will save you some time. So I could cancel my nine and my three. They're both divisible by three. Three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is three. But you can only cancel a numerator to a denominator. That's it only a numerator to a denominator. I can't cancel a numerator to a numerator. Just because I cancel once doesn't mean I'm finished. I can always cancel again. For example, I can cancel my four with my two. They're both divisible by two. So two, four divided by two is two. Two divided by two is one. And now just multiply across, multiply across. Three times two is six. One times one is one, and I get six. And this answer makes sense. We should always use our estimation skills. I have roughly four and a little more, multiplied by one and a little more. So yeah, I should get you know, a little more than four, right? Because four times one is four. So I should get five, six, seven, something like that. That makes sense. Dividing with fractions, the thing that you have to remember, I showed a very cool video last year, and it was called and the guy kept on saying, keep, change, flip. That's the action. Something, something, something with fractions. I can't remember how it goes. Keep, change, flip. You just have to remember to keep, change, flip. So what does that mean? 
Okay, so again, just like with multiply, multiplying fractions, change everything. The very first thing you should do is just change everything to a fraction. So let's change these to improper fractions. We already discussed this. This would be nine halves. This would be four thirds. Okay, so the guy says to keep, change, flip. So you keep your dividend. This is called your dividend, and you're gonna keep this. This is your keep. This is your keep. What's going on here? Try this one more time. Keep, change, flip. So you keep your divisor, or I'm sorry, your dividend, which would be nine halves. You change this operation division to multiplication. See how I change it? Then you flip. So four thirds is three fourths. That's really finding its reciprocal. You flip. Once you have done that, it's now a multiplication problem, and now you can just multiply across, multiply across. But now you can cancel as well. Once you've changed it to multiplication, you can cancel as well. I look, I can't really cancel anything, because remember, you can't cancel denominator to denominator. So just multiply across, you get 27 fourths, which if you change back, I'm sorry, 27 eighths. Uh, if you change back, that would be three and three fourths which makes sense because you're dividing four by one, roughly, right? So four divided by one is four. You should get a little less than four though because you have this one third, you're dividing by one and one third, all right? So you're gonna be able to take a little bit more from there. So here's what I want you to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I just want you to solve these three problems and we'll go over it tomorrow. And uh, yeah, if we have time, I'll show you those two videos. Um, keep the one that multiply cross and keep change flip and we'll also go a further in depth as far as you know why that works why you can keep change flip and what does reciprocal really mean i hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial like i said solve these three problems we'll go over them tomorrow talk to you guys later bye bye